And this is our day number four. And for today, I'll try to accomplish you know, deeper extensions and hip openers. If I can do the past or the techniques I used to do in the past and well before the sickness, I'll do them. Otherwise, I just feel it and then just do what I can. And hopefully, the series of lesson yeah, assist you and help you. Not just when you're recovering from COVID, but if you're recovering from an illness and um, yeah, trying to you know, gain the inspiration and the strength back and the motivation. Okay, so can we start on our backs? Yeah? Roll on your back. Okay. Good. And then the knees 90, arms crossed behind the skull. And then let the hips fall from side to side. Inhale as you lift them up. And exhale as you let your low back twist. Pardon my nasal voice, but yeah, rest assured that I'm already well. Yeah. It's just the residual blockages. And actually, this you know, series of lessons I'm sharing with you is really helping me a lot. And not just to regain my physical strength, but also my voice back. Yeah. Okay. And after this next one, yeah, remain on one side and open the arms wide across. You can look away and exhale out. All right, and the top leg you know, to the hand there, just to stretch this part of your lower back. Good. If the head is heavy, you can just cup your arm under. It's more of the side stretching right here. Come back center. Before you change, you know, go again to side to side. Breathing in as you lift and exhale as you twist. Good. And then ending to the opposite side, arms wide across and looking away. And that leg extends and stretching. Amidst the easing yeah, protocols, yeah. I think the, the disease is <laughs> creeping back uh, to our community. So always be mindful and careful. Well, in, interesting because this illness hits differently yeah. there are many factors to consider but you know, nevertheless you know pays to be careful okay and then back to the center you know, side to side you might just experience some sniffing there or mild cold you know, but for some people like myself i really had a rough you know, journey Okay, and then circle around, and I'm strong to begin with already, yeah. I'm fully vaccinated, actually three times, yeah? but still, yeah, it hit me hard. Okay, crossing, or maybe that vaccination has waned up already, I don't know, yeah. But one way or another, we're going to catch it, yeah, but still, we have to be very careful. All right, and if you can, rock this up to sitting, why not? All right, and then up. Good. And then you can uncross those legs and yeah, transitioning to downward facing dog. Good. And then can we do the alternate leg lift? The three legged dog. Breathing in as you lift the leg. And exhale as you touch the ground. Also, I feel like my throat gets dry so easily in my lips. And therefore, I always needed to like hydrate. Maybe it's my immune system of um, fighting whatever lingering yeah, infection is there inside. And exhale, breathing in, and exhale to the back. All right, can we pigeon the right knee through between the hands? And then keeping the other one open. Right? And then just moving from hip to hip. 
All right, inhale, lift the spine. And exhale, easing the spine down. All right, pardon me, just gonna you know, have a little cough. <coughs> And then stay. Okay, and from here, push away. Yeah, bring that leg with you. That left leg goes up, and then you lunge it through between the hands, and then the other knee to the floor. All right, let's do a low lunge here. You can coil to the side. Good. Okay. And then a mild chest lift, an easy version of your Anjani Asana. And just to rub your spine away from the inner hips. And a mild chest lift. Exhale, easing down. Inhale, open up. All right, hands to floor under the shoulders, curling the back foot and lift the thigh. Side press with the right hand pushing. Inhale, circle around. Swimming the hand to the floor, and the right leg goes high at the back. And you step it up through between the hands, and the heel down, and then spiral way, second warrior. All right, stretch and reach. All right, and then bending the knee, hand beside the foot, and stretch your left hip now. Side angle position. Beautiful. All right, both hands to floor and then squaring the back foot and then stepping to the back downward dog. So I'm just flowing as I feel it. Yeah. I didn't prepare for this sequence. I just do it spontaneously. Inhaling as you lift the leg, exhale down. The other one and then just marching your downward dog in place. Good, and then the left knee now crosses through, and then set between your hands. Right? And the mild chest lift, inhale, and exhale to the ground. Now, now I'm getting much better, because compared to the past few days, yeah, today's practice is lighter. I already taught my first uh, class yesterday, and then this morning I had it online. Yeah, it's good to have the voice back. All right, hands press, bring that leg with you. All right, and then lifting the right leg up and step it through between the hand and the other knee down. I'm quite too late in the game actually. <laughs> and breathing in. For like three or four years, I've managed to yeah, avoid catching it. But I know one way or another, it's just a matter of time. And then lifting up here. And exhale. Breathing in forward, up and backwards. And exhale, soften. All right, body over the hands. All right, tucking that back foot, lifting, left hand is the pushing hand, turn a side stretch, All right, hand to floor, and at the front leg lifts up the three-legged dog, and then step it big through the front, and then the other heel down, and then wide across, second warrior. All right, and then we just blow a few times here, stretch and bend. <clears throat> Okay, and then hand to floor beside the foot, or you can place the forearm down and stretch your right side now. All right, both hands to floor, and then squaring to downward facing. All right, alternate leg lift. Yeah. Although during the time while I was still ill, yeah, I was practicing. Yeah. But the practice was so light, you know, more of like sitting and then just bending and stretching. <laughs> no intense flow as this. Just to move my energetic field. Yeah. But there was a day or two that my body was so 
in bad shape that <laughs> I needed to stop altogether. All right. And, and then right knee again, pigeons through between the hands. And then just grab hold of the foot. Yeah. There's a mild chest stretch here, shoulder stretch. All right, release a stretch, hand down, bring that leg with your assist step, and then lifting that left leg again, and then step it up. All right, the other knee down, and then we're lifting up again to the Anjani Asana. But for this one, let me try and reach further backwards. But yeah, your option may be here, just arms wrap around your back. I'll try and coil a little bit further to the back. For the one leg Ustrasana, or yeah, a variation of the Ekapada Kapotasana, a deeper extension. All right, come back up, good, collect the foot, yeah, you can lighten, all right, hands to floor, yeah, curling the back foot, yeah, side press with the back hand pressing, circle around, hand down, lifting the back leg up, and here you can lightly bend and stretch the knee, and also the hand, good, and then we're stepping that foot through, this time the other knee down, and I'll try to accomplish the Hanumanasana. Falling to that butt, rolling over that other hip, and a mild chest lift. All right, now from here, you just sit, run both legs in front of you. <clears throat> Good. Crossing left on top and the right after. You can just cross the shins. And from there, let me just lie down on my back. Just so I can do the binding at the same time, stretching the side trunk already here. All right, and free those legs, lift them up and down, <clears throat> and I'll do the Danyurasana, pressing, lifting, and opening. Okay, just adjust your legs by walking them closer. You can also shake those hands, that to free the shoulders, and then you can walk your feet down here. Okay, maybe one leg up and stretching, and marching in place, and then the other one and stretching, and then down to the floor. Beautiful. All right, breathing in. All right, head down and the rest of your spine. Good. Collect your knees and give them some mild circling around. Okay. Good. <laughs> Opening one leg out. Only if it's accessible, looping the arm over the head and grab a hold of that leg from the other side. And then changing, other side. You can lift the other one too. You can circle around the tip. One more per side. I yeah, love this type of transition after a back bend. Uh, like I'm still stretching the spine internally as I do this minor adjustment. All right. From here, up and down. Good. You may set this one up. 
good. Let me try to push away. And to the back. Okay, breathing in. And exhale backwards. Okay, let's do alternate leg lift. <clears throat> Lifting. Okay, and then the lift knee sits through. And the other one remains open. And then just grab that foot. Yeah. Chest lift. Yeah, breastbone open. You may rub the neck around, away from the shoulders. And even the shoulders give them some nice rubbing around too. And breathe. Okay, to the floor, we press and bring that leg with you. Uh, stepping or lifting that right leg first and stepping it up and the other one down. Relax that foot and then lifting up. You might just stay uplifted like this. Like we can suspend further back or progress with your hands uh, towards that foot or the floor. Yeah, you can also try and stretch and uh, stretch the other leg. All right, and left all the way up. Go like the foot back in. You can lighten this hip, so you can rub that hip around inside. In and out. Okay, hands down, curling that back foot. Side press with this hand. Circle around. Or hand down and lifting that leg up. And Hanumanasana. Footsteps. And straighten those legs. And here you breathe. Now you can rub from hip to hip. All right. And then left, upright. You can scoop it from that back hip. All right, hands to floor. Yeah, pivoting forward. Yeah, you can adjust those hips by rubbing them. Good. Right leg leads, and the other one crosses, and. Hold on your back. Good. And side to side, those hips and the shoulder. I'm rubbing the tongue around the mouth too. Okay. And crossing. And in a mild rocking motion. Good. And pushing away the Nurasana. <clears throat> okay, you can walk those heels, marching them and pressing. All right. Touch the ground and Release his spine. Okay. And circling around. All right. Leg lift again. Like a variation of the compass pose. All right. And crossing up and down. Lifting, <coughs> pushing, and, and away, and to the back. Good. Good. I think I'm ready. Yeah. Let's start with the kneeling ones already. <coughs> Ushtrasana. Mm. 
and also when getting back. Yeah, so just tackle specific elements per day. Whereas before you can practice all the elements, yeah, but when slowly coming back, maybe one day you focus on forward bending and arm balancing, maybe some twist there. And second day, probably you focus on dynamism, yeah, the flow. And the third day, you might do a leg balance, like what we just had yesterday. And the fourth day, maybe back pain. You can follow the series, actually. Okay, let me progress this deeper. Yeah. Yeah, open up the throat. Yeah, breathing in. And, yeah, pressing through the knees. So your knees don't leave away yeah, the foundation of the floor. All right, same control as the entry. Come up. All right, pulling the belly in. Good, and march your knees to the midline and adjust them like a wave. Good, I can feel some yeah, pressure building up, but it's all good. It's just like, not as light as before, yeah, but it's part of getting back, yeah? You're on top of it. You know, you're recovering quite well. And that's how our nervous system's response you know, to going back into our routine. And of course, our body's still nourishing. Okay, but as soon as you do the flow, you're lifting those legs up, should be back. Okay, and let's flow one more time forward to the floor. Away from the floor and towards the back. All right, asymmetrical. <clears throat> Let me do the one leg or the Ekapada Kaputasana. Actually, I've practiced this one already a couple of days ago, but yes. Breathing in, yeah. draw inwards, to spin backwards, hang upwards. You can dance your shoulders there. Adjusting, refining the hips on the shoulders, inhaling at the top of it, inhale, a mouth clip, and let your elbows touch the ground. Good, nice and deep. I'm able to breathe openly, which is a good sign. All right, inhale, push away. Yeah, one hand at a time. You can lighten that knee so you can readjust the hips. Oh, burning thighs. But this is good. And then up. Wonderful. Oh, and then come back. Nice and open nostrils. That's why back pain is so good in expanding the lungs again <clears throat> and I find that during the time of I was really sick with COVID I could feel the ribs and the lungs compressing and this one feels really good and open all right waving up and down okay let's flow you may <laughs> jump it backwards and lift upwards I just feel that my lips are getting dry yeah. quite often and my throat although I've hydrated enough this morning yeah, but still I can feel it and after the session I think I needed to hydrate again 
but let me just finish this one. Rest sitting back, forward. Let me try the Kapotasana. My nose, my nasal cavity is not as blocked as in the past few days. Now it's much more open. I could breathe fully now, but still about 80-90%, but much better. Okay, let me hang here a bit yeah, to find my strength again. Okay. Beautiful. Breathing in, you may lighten the head, adjusting, and walking your knees to the midline. Okay, breathing in, and easing those elbows down. Feels good for the lungs. Like I'm stretching my lungs inside. Right and up. Right and all the way up. Good. And finding the center, adjusting the knees. <coughs> and rubbing in and out of the shoulders. Lifting up, hands to the ground, yeah. And then just flow it and press it. Okay, alternate the leg left, lifting. Okay, and I'll do the other leg, the kapada. Okay. okay. Hugging the midline. Using the strength of your hips and supporting your way back. Okay, nice and open. And to the floor and breathe. And adjusting. Okay, and press. It. Adjusting the leg and the other hip too. And this is my hollow side. And this one tends to slip out of the socket. So I just rearrange my structure. All right, and rise. Ooh. Back bends, they were already challenging before I got sick. <laughs> now they're even more challenging. It feels good to be back again. Okay, let me flow. Alternate leg left. Okay. One more strasana or a kapatasana.
um, bones away from the upper back. Pull in, press down, hang loose. Well done. Turn out those arms. Adjusting, by swinging, maybe walking those knees closer. Okay. Breathe. Breathing in. Pressing those hands. Adjusting. I'm trying to lengthen from the tip. All right, I can press evenly. Okay, and rise. Ooh. Accomplished. And walking in this in place. <coughs> you can wave up and down. Hi. Dangle loosely. And flowing. Upwards, then downward facing. Alternate the leg lift. Inhaling, lifting. And settle. All right. Knees stick to the ground. And sit. And deep hip openness now. Yeah, just clear my nostrils. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, spot a bit. Hey, la bandasa na. Okay, I'm tracing the outlines of my inner hips. So when I rotate my limbs, yeah, my back can move with the eastern side. All right. And then fanning those shoulders. I'll try to bind those, my arms around the back. Changing. Hip openers are quite manageable for me. But it's the back bends really. I think for most of us, back bends are the most challenging to accomplish. But once yeah, they happen, yeah, your brain remembers how to get um, through them, in and out of the posture, but still challenging, right? And circle around. And back bends are good in clearing the blockages of the lungs. <clears throat> Feels like after back bending, I wanted to clear yeah, my throat out. Alternate leg lift. But let's do another one. I can already feel the build-up. You may probably notice my voice is becoming more nasal. But when you practice, yeah, yeah feel free to release those blockages out. I'm going to do that actually after this round. And let's see toxins and the blockages of your nasal or your respiratory system cleansing.
All right. And then come forward to the frog. <coughs> Releasing. And circle around. And a few side to side left there. All right, keep going. And just circle the body around. Yeah, let me just clear my nasal pathway. All right, thank you. Beautiful. Okay. And then, if you can, flow it up. And exhale to the back. All right, alternate the leg lift. And three like a dog, lifting. All right. And crossing through. And sitting down. Uh, Padmasana. Yeah. But up at Masana, actually. But I'm also skipping the other ones I used to do. Yeah. There'll always be next time. Yeah, what's important is you are um, going back slowly. Yeah? And don't force your body. Ease. Yeah, take time. Yeah. Stretching this side, I feel this shoulder is a bit tight. Actually, not tight, too loose that it's you know, slipping away from the center. Okay, back to the midline. And I can just fold to the center without the bind anymore. All right, and upright, and cross those legs, reclining to the floor, and just rocking up and down here, and a few side stretching. And this type of side stretching forms part of my practice across the board. I just love this one, it suits me. Yeah. But if what, this one is not, yeah. Serving you, you can just do some circling around like this. Yeah? And a few side to side. You can kick that leg up in the air. Like you're turning a knob inside the head. Okay. And while I'm here, I'll do my Supta Kandasana. Settle in the middle. Beautiful. Okay, free the legs, and rocking up and down. Viparita Karani Mudra. And this one too. Yeah. The first time I tried it from the illness, it was so difficult. Yeah, but now it's manageable already. Yeah. Let me do a halasana first. Yes, I could feel it. the blockages from the lungs draining upwards, which is good. <clears throat> okay, and lifting. Viparita Karani. All right, and another one of the halasana with the back. Yeah, tail slightly forward, so the low back won't round. And we'll let me reach over the head. All right, and rolling to the floor. All right, 
extending those legs to the front touch the ground okay side stretching and circling okay up and down and sitting and flowing and arching and pushing <clears throat> and crossing through and to the floor okay sitting kandasana I just could imagine how it could have been worse if I wasn't doing the yoga or if I wasn't doing the breathing exercises. No. Well, maybe I'm just unlucky. <laughs> I hit a bad one. But, and then rubbing okay, and flowing. and arching and pressing and lifting alternate legs <clears throat> all right i'll try and cross through well let me jump through Bada Padmasana, the other leg on top. Okay. Binding. All right, and then falling that side. Well, something interesting happened during my first night of really uh, being sick <clears throat> samadhi came but i know it's not uh, <laughs> a good uh, way of yeah, having the samadhi but it, inevitably it's organic it's spontaneously it happened maybe because i was so sick my brain was really bulging and i was reclining yeah uh, i was chilling your yeah, chills and yeah it's it's really bad yeah my whole body was aching and then somebody came, and it's on the left hemisphere of my brain. And then there I saw colors, yeah, like the cosmos. And then uh, the, the, the swirling arm appeared warm inside. Yeah. I think uh, when our brain is really, for example, into experiencing stress yeah especially when you're sick or you're recovering from an illness those dormant centers open as a way for you to fight yeah the pressure yeah well there's something interesting to yeah share with you but i wasn't meditating it just happened involuntarily or maybe i was trying to yeah, be on top of everything during those toughest, roughest time. Yeah. Maybe that's the reason why it happened. Yeah, but I wasn't meditating at all. Yeah. Pressing and arching and stretching. All right. Not to jump through, and just cross through. Okay. 
Yeah, last two elements. Kandasana. But as soon as I, I was ready to, to do the breathing exercises, I initiated it already. Actually, it's, it's the first night that's the most difficult. Um, it, it happened to suddenly. I was teaching, I think it was Tuesday, Tuesday morning and then Tuesday night. And then through Tuesday night, I was already feeling the itch. And then the following day, Wednesday was the worst. Although I, I still managed to practice the Monday or the Wednesday morning, yeah, but the night time was bad already. And then that Wednesday overnight was the toughest all through the Thursday, midday. But towards the afternoon of Thursday, I decided to feel better. But still, it's there. You know, you're sick. Yeah? Um, yes, I was doing my breathing exercises Thursday. Nah. I managed to do the alternate, the Nadi Shodana, for I think 30 minutes you know, while I was so sick. And then Friday, which was like the third day of it, yeah, much better. Yeah. But still no asana. I started doing the asana, I think, was a Friday or a Saturday, yeah, but still gentle ones. Yeah. Right, up and down. Yeah. Lucky that I didn't lose my sense of taste and smell. Yeah, my appetite was still the same. Had I lost my appetite, it could have been worse. Yeah. Pushing. All right, and curling. And then backwards. All right, let me do a handstand. <coughs> Actually, I've been doing like the handstand the, the, as soon as I am able to. Yeah, I try to push myself. Yeah, but it's just me. And up. Are balancing, they're not actually that difficult. Yes, now I can breathe openly, whereas before, just a few days ago, when doing this, my nostrils feel clogged. All right, coming slowly down. All right, and touch the floor. Okay. Last viparita. Yeah, tail to the back. I can still feel it now. Yeah. Heaviness to the upper lungs. like cobwebs <laughs> building inside the upper chest. Well, maybe it's one of the benefits of this position, the Viparita Karani or the shoulder stand, like you are draining your lungs and then part of those draining process you have the toxins and the blockages there excess moisture the kappa the mucus all right and slowly down all right and easy okay and let it circle around yeah, successful practice, yeah. Although not as light, still a long way to go, but happy that I'm back. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. Goes to show that even if you're strong, yeah, you're not invincible. <laughs> well, I never thought of that myself. But yeah, it's a wisdom coming from me as your teacher. Okay. And we just sit through and find a way to the flow. Okay. I'll skip my Shavasana since I have a, a task to accomplish after this. But it feels good to be back. Yeah, inhale, arms lift. And exhale down. I'm breathing in, open the arms. And exhale, easing down. One more. Inhaling. And then hands together. Exhale to the chest. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow for our fifth day. Yeah, namaste. Take care.